and welcome back to a, another weekly reading vlog. So I am going to chapters to edit and upload my last week's reading vlog because I have not done that yet. So this is going to be a very short update. This week I am planning on reading Clockwork Princess and finishing it. I am reading that with Ali Corvair and Alexandra Roslin, so that's fun. So I'm also planning on starting Enchante with Rachel Marie Book Junkie and Madison Mary. So that's going to be a priority this week as well. I am planning on also starting one of my arcs. It's either going to be Wicked Saints or Red Scrolls of Magic. I'm not too sure which one yet, but that's going to be a thing. This clip is the worst, but I don't feel like sitting down and doing one. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm up to. I'll probably update you a little bit later. So it is currently Wednesday. Um, I have my hair up. I'm not like, I don't have half of my head. Um, <laughs> so it's Wednesday. I am going to work very soon, but I just thought I would give an update. So I read 50 pages of Prior of the Orange Tree yesterday and there was a steamy scene. I loved it. Um, yes, it is FF. Is very gay. I just this book is shaping up to be one of my favorite adult fantasy ever which is a huge feat because I just I, I love a lot of books and yeah it's just like it's really diverse and it's really it's just full of stuff and yes the main pairing is just like I love them but yes, I am going to go to work, but I'm going to try and read another 50 pages of Priory on the way there. I take the train to work, so I have a little bit of time to read. I figured I would do just, just a casual update. Oh, um, I am on page like 105 of Clockwork Princess. I don't know if I said that already, but yeah, not a whole lot has gone on. Um, we just got introduced to like Cecily and and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with Jem, which breaks my freaking heart because I love Jem so much. But yeah, so I will probably update you tomorrow because I don't get back from work until 11. So yes, I will see you tomorrow. Hello everyone, so it is Thursday and I'm feeling down in the dumps so I am underneath a blanket. I made some tea. Yesterday I got to around page 620 of Priory of the Orange Tree. Not really a whole lot is going on right now. They're just kind of like plotting some stuff. I don't really feel like reading that right now so I am going to be starting the Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. So I'm gonna do that and then probably check back in with you guys later on tonight. But yes. Okay, so I'm on page 12 and I already have four tabs. It's so nice being back in this world and seeing the perspective of Alec and Magnus because I haven't read the Mortal Instruments in so long and I didn't realize how much I missed them until now. So far it's got the same funny tone as the Mortal Instruments. Cassandra Clare has amazing humor and yeah I'm really enjoying it right now and it's only on page 12 so that's exciting. That's a good sign. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is a little bit different. So it is Monday and I'm going to be wrapping up this reading vlog. I didn't really do a lot of like in-person updates this reading vlog. I kind of wanted to try something a little bit different, do something a little bit more aesthetic. And I think I like it, but I did also miss talking to the camera. I was waiting for most of the week for my new tripod to get in, which I am using now. I like it a lot. So as I said, I will be wrapping up this weekly reading vlog. So I read only one book this week. I tried to do a 24 hour readathon and that did not work out. So, but the thing that I did read, I finished it yesterday. Um, so I finished The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. <sighs> this freaking book. It is so amazing. I am so excited to film my review on it because I just know that I'm going to get like overcome with emotions. I rated this a 5 out of 5 stars. The little tiny things that either annoyed me or I just like didn't like as much were tiny in comparison to the things that I loved in this book. I just, I don't know how to explain this book. I think I need some more time to like think on it and like bask in the glow of the five stars because I just, I love this book. I love this book. The romance was amazing. The characters were fantastic. I loved, loved, loved that I could read a high fantasy and actually enjoy it completely. I am just like enthralled by everything in this book. I love it. You can see here I tabbed so much of this book. Like it is full. There are like tabs up here. There's dog earring. Like I just love it. I can't wait to get my finished copy. I am just so excited and so yeah. That is the first book that I finished. Ooh, it's a chunker. The next book that I started is The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare. I got about 80 pages into this, so not too bad. I am really enjoying it right now. I love that they are doing a story specifically for Magnus and Alec. If you didn't know, this takes place in between City of Fallen Angels and City of Lost Souls in the Mortal Instruments series. So it's like new but also kind of familiar and I just love that this takes all of the humor out of like the Mortal Instruments and turns it on its head a little bit. It's very mature, it's very romantic, it's very 
high action. It's hilarious. Cassandra Clare has like top tier humor. I swear to God. Like I just, I'm loving this so far. I predict a four to a five out of five stars for this book. <sighs> so the last book that I started was, um, Clockwork Princess. I am on page page am I on? What page am I on? I'm on page 300 and just just look at how many blue tabs there are. Blue means strong feelings, emotions, sadness. If that doesn't explain to you the monstrosity of the feelings that I am feeling reading this book, then I don't know what will. Um, yeah, I am just a heartbroken. There are so many scenes where I have actually cried, like full on, tears streaming down my face. I was on the train today and this book was making me cry and there was this guy sitting ahead of me on the train and he just like kept glancing up at me like, Bitch, are you okay? Like, no, random train man. I am not okay. This book is destroying me. So uh, yeah, that's fun. But all in all, I think that I had a good reading week. I think that I am on track for my reading goals. I was very upset because I hadn't actually finished any of the books on like the TBR that I made myself, but we're just throwing that TBR to the wind now because I'm trash and an unreliable person. So <laughs> I am keeping all of the arcs on my TBR, but I'm kind of like switching things up a little bit. And that concludes this week's reading vlog. Um, I hope that you liked it. I am sorry if you didn't. Sorry. If you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up. Comment if you want. Let me know what books you read this week. If you read any, what books you're planning on reading, what books you're loving. Are there any books that you've hated? tell me down below. As always, all of my social media links will be down in the description box below if you want to follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, or my blog. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my new video. Bye!